This video is part of my series showing you how to hack networks using Python. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to hack a network using a simple Python script. Now, if you enjoy these types of ethical hacking videos, if you enjoy Python, if you enjoy ethical hacking, if you enjoy networking, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. That really does help me with the YouTube robots. I'm uploading a lot of networking and hacking content to my YouTube channel, as well as programming content. Hopefully you enjoy this type of thing. If you do, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel once again. Okay, let's get started. This script will change the spanning tree route in a switched network. In this demonstration, I've got three Cisco switches and some PCs that are part of my topology. So in this example, I've got a 3560 CX switch. That's the bottom switch in this topology. I've got a Cisco 1000 series switch and a Cisco 2960. In this example, the Cisco switch is the root switch. I'm gonna tell the switches that my Kali virtual machine or Kali virtual machine if you prefer is the root by sending BPDUs or bridge protocol data units into the network. We're basically gonna capture BPDUs off the network and we're gonna forge them or change them to make the switches believe that we are the root in the spanning tree topology. Again, this is a very simple script. We're using Scapy in this example. Have a look at my previous videos where I discuss Scapy in more detail. In this video, I'm simply showing you how I can manipulate the spanning tree root using Scapy and a few lines of Python code. So what we're gonna do initially is capture the spanning tree frames off the wire. We are looking for traffic going to this well-known MAC address, which is the MAC address of spanning tree. We are then gonna change the source MAC address, the root ID, and the root MAC to this. We're setting the bridge ID to this and the bridge MAC to this. Basically, I'm sending a frame back into the network saying that I am the root. Spanning tree elects the root bridge, really important in networks. It elects the root bridge based on the lowest priority and lowest MAC address. Currently in my network, if I look at the 3560 CX switch, the root bridge has this priority and this MAC address. This switch is not the root. Its root port is out of gigabit 02. In other words, it's pointing to the 2960. On the 2960 switch, show spanning tree. This switch is the root switch. Once again, has this priority, has this MAC address. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna announce that I have the lowest priority lowest MAC address. So I'll run the script just to show you what happens. To do that, I'm gonna use Kali or Kali Linux. I'm running this in a virtual machine, just makes it easier for people to follow me and makes it easier to record. So let's hack the spanning tree root. I'll paste the script in. Again, it's only a few lines of code. It's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines of code very basic script. I'm gonna use sudo to give me admin privileges, stp root hack.py. That's the script that I'm gonna run, put in my password. So previously, the root in the network was this. Now, the root has a priority of zero, MAC address of this, and the root port on the 3560 has changed from gigabit 02 to gigabit 05. Looking at my topology, that's the Kali the virtual machine. The Kali PC or virtual machine has become the root of my spanning tree network. It's as simple as that to change the root in a network. You don't want this to happen. You wanna implement security mechanisms to stop this. So you wanna implement root guard as an example to stop this kind of nonsense happening. Now, in this example, I'm using my own equipment. I'm using my own equipment here. I'm not hacking someone else's network. You need to learn Python. You need to learn networking if you wanna become an ethical hacker or a network engineer. This kind of stuff gives you a lot of power, but only use it for good. Only do ethical hacking, don't get into trouble. Okay, so I had a show option here. 
And you can see that that's what the spanning tree message looks like after I manipulated it. Now what I will do here is run Wireshark on Windows so that you can see the original messages and the forged messages. So what I'll do is capture spanning tree. So we can see as an example that at this point, the root switch has this root identifier. Path cost is that. Type show spanning tree now. Notice priority is 32769. Because we're adding the root identifier or root priority plus the VLAN number to give us that, that is the root bridge MAC address. But again, I could simply change that. In this example, I'm sending one packet into the network. So one packet has been sent. Show spanning tree. Notice root has changed. And if I look at Wireshark, you can see that here I forged the source MAC address. So MAC address was forged. I forged the root identifier and bridge identifier. I basically manipulated the frame that I received off the network. I received a frame, changed some values, and sent it back into the network to make myself the spanning tree root. Now in this example, I'm not using a loop, but I could simply use a loop here to send multiple frames into the network. So I could do something like that. What I'll do is add a sleep timer, and I'm simply copying some code from another script. This is the thing about code. Don't reinvent it, just reuse code. So what I'll do is ls nano stp root hack, and what I'll do is paste that code in here, and I'll remove that line. So what this will do now, I'll clear the screen, is send BPDUs into the network every second to make sure that I remain the root. So on the switch, show spanning tree. Notice the root is my Kali virtual machine and the root port is pointing to Kali. Now, what you could do is send some BPDUs, wait a bit of time, like 30 seconds, so that it goes back to the original root and send some more BPDUs. And that can really mess up networks you don't want this to happen. So what we should be doing on any port that we don't trust, we should type spanning tree, and we have a few options here, but I'll do guard root. And what should happen is notice root guard is enabled. It should protect us from these BPDUs. So if I type show spanning tree, spanning tree election has gone back to the proper switch. If I run the script, what will happen is root guard will block those BPDUs. So if I type show spanning tree again, notice the port has been blocked. We are still using the proper root switch or root bridge in our topology. Spanning tree has been around for many years, so we talk about a bridge rather than a switch. So the root bridge is still the 2960 in my topology rather than Kali, we have stopped this nonsense. You could also filter BPDUs or do other things to protect your network. Now in CCNA courses, they often tell you about this, but I want you to see how easy it is to use Python to hack networks. A few lines of code here and you can break a network. Okay, so hopefully you learned something. I've shown you now how to use a simple Python script to hack networks. You need to enable security on your networks, but you should learn Python because it gives you a lot of power. Now, once again, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal. want to wish you all the very best.